Good evening and welcome to the Rockdale County Public Schools Teacher of the Year celebration. We'll come back live later in our program to reveal this year's District Teacher of the Year. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the program. We'll see you soon. to the 24th annual Teacher of the Year celebration. I'm Cindy Ball, Chief of Strategy and Innovation, and I have the honor of being your host for tonight's program. Tonight, we are honoring outstanding educators. These are the educators who have gone above and beyond the call of duty to set an example for other educators and for their students. I welcome our Board of Education and all of the RCPS faculty and staff who I know are watching this evening's program. Also joining us virtually are many friends, family, business leaders, community representatives, and sponsors. We appreciate your ongoing support of our schools and school system. Without your help, this recognition program would not be possible. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you our honorees and our three finalists for Teacher of the Year. Shanice Beasley, Sims Elementary School. Shanice has been teaching for five years and for the first time is teaching fourth grade ELA and social studies. Previously, she taught first grade. In her spare time, she likes to do crafty, do-it-yourself projects such as flipping furniture. She also enjoys nature and spending time with her family, including her two-year-old son. She volunteers with a nonprofit organization that helps victims of domestic abuse with clothing, shoes, and household items. She became a teacher to help every child be successful and says her most rewarding experiences include helping scholars with behavior opportunities to adjust their learning environment. She says, I love being able to differentiate their learning experience so they may be successful. I sincerely enjoy preparing lessons and individualized instruction for my scholars. Tamika Clyde, Shoal Creek Elementary. Tamika is in her fifth year of teaching and has taught kindergarten all five years. In her spare time, she enjoys her family and friends, shopping, reading books, traveling, styling hair, and resting. She and her husband have a daughter, a sweet three-month-old granddaughter, and a little dog. She is also an active member of her church and her sorority. She says her most rewarding experience in her teaching career is when a student can make a connection with their prior knowledge and believe in themselves as they become world-class scholars for student growth and achievement. She also says it's an honor and a privilege to be part of a world-class school system. Amelia Cutter, C.J. Hicks Elementary. Amelia has been teaching for 11 years, 10 of them at C.J. Hicks Elementary, where she is a teacher in inclusion pre-kindergarten. In her spare time, she enjoys relaxing with a movie and eating out. She loves spending time with her three-year-old son, who she says keeps her busy. She says her most rewarding experience in her teaching career was obtaining her education specialist in curriculum and instruction. 
Candace Edwards, Alpha Academy. Candace is in her ninth year teaching and her second year teaching middle school social studies. She loves to travel with family and friends and write stories, poems, and skits. She sings in her church choir and is currently pursuing a Master of Divinity degree. She serves on the boards of two nonprofit organizations and runs her own as well. As an active member of her church and these nonprofit organizations, she is involved in many fundraisers, toy giveaways, food giveaways, canned food drives, and health fairs. She and her husband of 11 years have two sons and one daughter. She says her most rewarding experiences as a teacher include former students returning to her class to let her know that they are doing well in life. Jamina Graham, Hightower Trail Elementary. Jamina has been in education for over 15 years and is in her sixth year at Hightower Trail Elementary, currently teaching fifth grade. She enjoys reading, singing, and listening to music. She also enjoys singing in the praise band at her church. She has four children, two boys and two girls. She says, Out of all the things I've accomplished in life, I consider my greatest contribution the moment when I see that light bulb go off in a child's mind. When they are excited about learning and their confidence and educational level has grown because of my instruction. My greatest joy is seeing a child change and get excited about learning. She also says she enjoys teaching adults as well as children. Terrence Green, Heritage High School. Terrence has been teaching for 12 years and has been the director of choral activities at Heritage for 10 years. He also serves on the diversity committee of the Georgia chapter of the American Choral Directors Association and is choral chair for District 4 of the Georgia Music Educators Association, working with elementary, middle, and high school choral directors in Butts, DeKalb, Jasper, Morgan, Newton, and Rockdale counties. In his spare time, he enjoys long walks with his dog and spending time with his family, including his husband of two years. He says the most rewarding experience of his teaching career thus far has been having a choir selected to perform at the Georgia Music Educators In-Service Conference. Yolanda Green, Honey Creek Elementary. Yolanda has been teaching for 18 years in fifth grade, first grade, and special education before her current role as the RTI coordinator. She can be found doing community outreach activities with a girls group for fourth and fifth grade girls that she started, and an organization of women helping others. She is also president of the Salem High School PTSA. She and her husband have two children, and she spends her spare time at her children's sporting events. She also enjoys making t-shirts and other crafty items. She says her most rewarding experience was a couple of years ago. At the beginning of the year, one of her fifth graders told her he did not like reading. Then, at the end of the year, he wrote in a card that he enjoyed reading a little more because she made it fun. Vanessa Johnson, Flat Shoals Elementary. Vanessa has been teaching for 26 years and currently teaches kindergarten at Flat Shoals where she has been for 13 years. In her spare time, she likes to travel, hike nature trails, read, write, and spend valuable time with family. She has been married for 23 years and has a daughter in college and a son who is a senior in high school. She says one of her most rewarding experiences in her teaching career was when she taught in the United Arab Emirates. She said she was able to teach with teachers and children from around the world, and that gave her a new perspective on how rewarding and amazing teaching really is. Christy Jones, Rockdale Open Campus. Christy has been teaching for 22 years and has been teaching science at Open Campus for nine years. She likes to read, work in her garden, spend time with her family, 
and volunteer at her church. She loves to travel and is working on her third passport, but due to COVID-19, she is grounded for a while. She says some of her most rewarding experiences include seeing the light bulb come on when she knows a student actually gets it and understands. Joy Kimball Acosta, Barksdale Elementary. Joy has been teaching for 10 years and has been teaching third grade for six years and previously taught fourth and fifth grades. In her spare time, she loves spending time with her family, playing cards and board games, and watching movies. She volunteers her time to assist with carnivals, movie nights, competitions, technology fair, PTO activities, and other school-related events. She and her husband have been married for 13 years and have three children, one in middle school and twins in elementary. She says, My colleagues choosing me to be Teacher of the Year at Barksdale was very rewarding, but teaching and having a positive impact on a child's life is the most rewarding experience of all. Being a teacher can be very challenging, but knowing that I will have a positive influence on our future is what keeps me going. The children are my reasons for being an educator. They are my why. Rashonda Levitt Tompkins, Edwards Middle School. Rashonda has been teaching for 15 years and for nine years has been teaching seventh grade mathematics. She loves shopping, reading, and poetry slams. She advocates for civil rights and is a mentor for adolescent girls. She and her husband of 17 years have two children in high school. She loves using manipulatives to teach math. She has used glow sticks for glow-in-the-dark geometry. And for the statistics unit, she dressed up as a zombie when students were engaged in zombie mathematics. She says her most rewarding experiences include those aha moments when she has explained a math concept or skill and students finally understand it. Sharice Liggins, Salem High School. Sharice has been teaching for eight years and has taught social studies and served as the department chair at Salem for three years. She loves spending quality time with family and friends, exercising, cooking, and crocheting. She is involved with school clubs and volunteers at school and district activities and events, including PBIS recognition for students and staff. She is also involved with her sorority, honorary college band fraternity, and honorary band sorority. She says, The most rewarding experiences occur every year when I witness growth and success of students as they develop into young adults. Melvin McLean, Conyers Middle School. Melvin has been teaching over 20 years and has been teaching 7th grade social studies for the past three years. He has two dogs and enjoys spending time with his family, playing basketball and billiards. He volunteers his time to feed the hungry, work with youth at risk, and voter registration. He says his most rewarding experience is his passion for the craft, which is his love for the teaching profession and the success of all students whom he's had the pleasure of educating through his tenure. He says, it gives me great honor to know that I have dedicated my life to teaching and that there is no other career path or arena that completes me. Memorial Middle School, Avian Mackey Fails. Avian has been teaching for 19 years and currently teaches seventh grade science. She is also a nurse with a passion for medicine, but says her greatest love is teaching. In her spare time, she likes to travel, read, and binge watch old TV shows that pertain to medicine and crime. She has a little dog and five smart goldfish. She volunteers as a Girl Scout leader and has mentored several teachers as well as students. She and her daughter also volunteer together with voter registration, serving meals, and collecting items for those in need. She is a newlywed with a COVID-19 wedding last spring. She says it is most rewarding when her students succeed and come back to tell her. She says, it makes my day when they return and state that I am part of their success story. 
Oftentimes, they reach out and let me know that I am still their favorite or most memorable teacher. Patricia Rollins, Pine Street Elementary. Patricia has been teaching for 10 years, all of them teaching ESOL, or English to speakers of other languages, at Pine Street. She enjoys watching movies, listening to music, going camping in the North Georgia mountains, and going on walks in the woods. She has a spoiled dog, a senior cat, an iguana, and four fish tanks. She is active in her church and a women's Bible study made up of educators from across the country. She says one of her most rewarding experiences in her teaching career was during her second year of teaching. A third grade girl came to Pine Street from Ukraine, not knowing English. She said they would read sight word books for her to learn to read in English and discussed grade level content, but in conversation rather than textbook language. She made impressive progress that year, both academically and socially. By her third year in the country, she exited the ESOL program. She says, this student forced me out of my comfort zone and taught me how to be a true teacher of English. I feel blessed to have what I consider the perfect job for me with such wonderful students, fellow staff members, and administrators. Kristen Slotnick, Peaks Chapel Elementary. Kristen has been teaching for 20 years and has been teaching second grade for two years. She enjoys reading, baking, crafting, and spending time with family and traveling to the North Georgia mountains. She grew up in Rockdale County and has a daughter in high school and four cats. She volunteers to help others during the holidays and participates in a fundraising event for cancer each spring. She says her most memorable moment was last year when she had a student that had trouble learning sight words. She says, I spent each morning working with the student before school started. I found that if we created a song or a rhyme for the words, the student learned the words faster. It was very heartfelt knowing that the student could do it when the student thought otherwise. Jenny Smith, J.H. House Elementary. Jenny has been teaching for seven years and has been teaching first grade for five years. She loves spending time with family, including her husband and their dog doing home projects, and going to Target and Starbucks. She and her husband are active in their church, including a young couple small group. She says one moment of her teaching career really sticks out to her. During her third year of teaching, she had a student who had a very difficult time learning to decode as he was reading. This student worked extremely hard throughout the year, and when they left for summer break, she reminded him to keep practicing his reading throughout the summer. His mom later sent her an email that showed a video of him reading independently and he was decoding just like they had practiced in class. She says, It gave me such joy to be able to provide him with those strategies and skills he needed to become successful. This absolutely made my teaching career. Connie Vasquez, General Ray Davis Middle School. Connie has been teaching for 22 years, with 21 of them in Rockdale County Public Schools. As a fourth generation native of Atlanta, she's a career math teacher who currently teaches math connections in grades six through eight. She enjoys traveling, gardening, cooking, and watching University of Georgia football. She and her husband have two sons, three granddaughters, and one grandson. She has two dogs she calls her babies and often supports local animal charities and events. She says her most rewarding experience in her teaching career has been the relationships she has formed with her students and families in the community. She enjoys attending sporting events, fine arts performances, and academic events of both her current and former students. Tammy White, Lorraine Elementary. Tammy has been teaching for 25 years and currently serves as a kindergarten EIP reading support teacher. She loves spending time with family for game night, movie night, and walking the neighborhood with their dog. She also enjoys a good book and walking on the treadmill, listening to music or an inspirational voice. She and her husband have been married for 19 years and have two children. 
Tammy serves on the board of a nonprofit organization created to support children with special needs. She is also president of the women's ministry at her church. She says her most rewarding experience is completing her first book during quarantine, culminating 25 years in early childhood education. The title of her book is Seven Things I Wish I Had Known Before Kindergarten. Dr. Imani Bailey, Rockdale County High School and District Finalist. Um, education was nowhere on my radar. I went to school and I was an accounting major, I actually worked as an um, internal auditor and a financial analyst. Then I decided to go back for my MBA and I began working on campus at Clark Atlanta and just working with the students and everybody at the school. I was like, I think I enjoy this better than corporate America. And so I decided at the end of the summer, once I was done with my MBA, I was like, I'm not going back to corporate. So I called the principal at my old high school and they had a business ed position open and she said I could have it. What always makes me laugh is when my former students invite me to their life events now, whether it's a wedding, baby shower, um, college graduation or from an advanced degree. But um, just seeing them, how they are as adults, their successes, that makes me feel good because it know, makes me know that I've done something. I've had a part in that. Dr. Bailey is intricately involved in a lot of activities in the school. She's a phenomenal teacher and she's very deserving of the opportunity to represent the school as a teacher of the year. And it's very, very obvious why she was chosen by her peers um, to represent us in this capacity. Awesome teacher, awesome person, and she's always concerned about the well-being of her kids, bar none. She believes in the success of every student and that every student can succeed. Um, it's definitely an honor for the school. A lot of times I feel like I work in the background and I support um, different coworkers in the school and I definitely support the kids. And so a lot of times people may see things I do but not know it's me. So the recognition is great, but it's really for the kids. Um, and for the district, it's just amazing that out of all the teachers, out of all the schools that I'm one of the finalists. So it makes me feel good. Like what I do and what I pour into my students is really valued. I had a student who used to not talk to me for weeks at a time. He would get so upset with me. And I bumped into him at Home Depot. And I'm like, hey, how are you? And um, he was like, I'm good. You'll never guess what I'm majoring in. And I said, what? He said, accounting. And I'm like, but you hated my class. He was like, I know. And I'm actually on a scholarship for it. And I was like, I guess I won that offer, was I? He was like, you weren't. So, um, even if I gave them a hard time, but they see the value in it afterwards, then I think I'm doing my job. Um, and he's a CPA now. He's doing really well, just got married. He's doing so great. And I'm like, you hated me in school. <laughs> and now look at you. <laughs> you might not understand the life lessons. You might be frustrated or feel I'm being hard on you. But when you're able to be successful in life or you pull from some of the life lessons I taught you, then I've done my job. Dr. Lynette Clark, Rockdale Magnet School for Science and Technology and District Finalist. My career pathway began in high school as a teacher. So I was in a college pro program for high school science, math, and technology. And one of the teachers said to me, you're gonna be a teacher. And I said, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and so she saw, she saw that teacher spark. And um, after that, there was a teacher, teacher course in my high school. And so I took the course. We volunteered at an elementary school. It was an African-centered elementary school. And, um, it was, it was an amazing experience. And so I was really um, torn when I went to college about what my major would be. And so I decided to um, become a middle school major at Clark Atlanta University. Right then, you know, my passion really was ignited. And so I was like, I have to get in there and, and get this work done. <laughs> Thank you, James, and RCPS Teacher of the Year finalist. 
<laughs> Congratulations, Dr. Clark, on being a Teacher of the Year finalist for Rockdale County Public Schools. Dr. Clark is a phenomenal science and research teacher at Rockdale Magnet School for Science and Technology. She challenges students to ask hard questions, questions that nobody knows the answer to, and then provides them resources so that they can go out there and discover new information, new ideas themselves. She does all of this while making her classroom such a fun and exciting place to be. She combines her scientific knowledge with her creative energy to create wonderful results for students. Congratulations, Dr. Clark, and good luck. We are so proud of you. I was totally shocked when I saw all those people outside. <laughs> Totally shocked and surprised and just, I felt delighted and truly blessed to be amongst the finalists for Teacher of the Year. Some of the most significant um, experiences for me have really been the students reaching back out, um, letting me know how well they're doing, letting me know that they are reaching towards their aspirations. Some of them their aspirations were from sixth grade and they are like, you know, hey, Dr. Clark, I think during quarantine, uh, it's been a reflection point for everyone. And so I've had some students reach out to me and say on Facebook and send me long messages about how I had an Esau student who she didn't speak a lot of English. And she was like, I just remember how wonderful you were to me. And then I've had other kids say, you know, I'm doing this or I'm doing that. And so it's it's been a joy. Like teaching is, it's hard work, but it is amazing. Jesse Smith, Rockdale Career Academy and district finalist. I uh, graduated from UGA um, in 2012 and I worked for a little while as a database programmer for Brand Bank. I liked what I did because I enjoy computer programming, um, but there was always something missing. I, I really think it was the social interaction. A guy I graduated high school with, his name's Lucky Baker. Um, we went through Magnet together and he called me up and he said, hey, you want to go see Dr. Arnold and Miss Suddeth over at Magnet? And, uh, you know, we just went in, we said our hellos, we got caught up. And it just kind of got mentioned that they were looking for a technology teacher at the time. And I got a call from Dr. Arnold a few weeks later, and she asked if I was interested in coming in as a long-term sub to finish out the school year. Um, and, you know, I, I knew there was something missing in my career. So I decided to take a chance. And, and then as that year concluded, I had realized, you know, that I, I enjoy coming to work every day. I enjoy the interactions with my students. Um, so I decided to go back to school and get a degree in education. And I took a job over at Rockdale Career Academy. Um, and here we are eight years later. The most rewarding thing for me is the relationships that I've built. And that's with my students, but it's also with my coworkers. Um, it's with people that I've been able to collaborate with on different projects. It's with community members. Um, for my students, I when I started that first year at Magnet, I had, I don't know, probably around 80 or 90 students. And to this day, in some capacity, there's probably 20 or 30 of them that I stay in touch with. You know, I, I've been able to stay on as a mentor in their lives. Um, you know, I, I recently went to a Braves game uh, with a student I taught eight years ago, and he has graduated UGA and works in finance now. Mr. Smith, I want to congratulate you on being one of RCPS's Teacher of the Year finalists. Congratulations. Thank you. Jesse Smith is RCA's Teacher of the Year because when I think of Jesse, he's innovative, uh, he's energetic, he's dependable, and he's caring. So he is always reaching out to make the kids better, but he also wants to make his colleagues better. He pours into them, he works with them, and he wants to make the school better. Uh, he is truly a cornerstone of RCA, and we are lucky to have him. We are very proud that he is a finalist for the RCPS Teacher of the Year. I was definitely surprised. Um, I, I, you know, I was really surprised to see um, all the board members and cabinet members standing there, um, and it just, you know, it was awesome. Um, it, it means a lot to me. I, 
Rockdale Career Academy is an amazing place. And, you know, I've said it to several people in my life that I'm not sure I'd, I'd be teaching if I hadn't have stumbled in there for an interview one day. My hope is that upon graduation, you know, my students can recognize the opportunities that I've offered them. And they also recognize that we have built a relationship together where if they need help later on in life, you know, I'm always willing to help. And now, joining us from her home, our board chairwoman, Ms. Mandy North. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of the Rockdale County Board of Education, I would like to congratulate all of our teachers of the year. Your unwavering commitment and dedication to our students is second to none. We understand it takes long hours, patience, endurance, and special skills during these times to be creative with our virtual learning. We appreciate all that you've done, and we're so blessed and thankful that you have chosen Rockdale County to share your gifts and talents. Again, congratulations to all Teachers of the Year. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. North. To become Rockdale County's Teacher of the Year is not an easy task. There's a lot of work involved. Following their selection as school level teacher of the year, these honorees completed a comprehensive application that addressed some of the challenges of changing to an online learning environment during a global pandemic and how they continue to engage students in a virtual setting. Three judges reviewed the applications and the three teachers who received the highest cumulative scores were named finalists and moved to the second level of judging. Our judges reviewed online classes and interviewed our finalists before selecting our district teacher of the year. This is always a tough decision because all of our teachers are so great. I would like to thank our judges, Mrs. Kathy Smiley, Mrs. Susan Paul Smith, and Mr. Carlos Hernandez for giving so much of their time and attention throughout this selection process. And now, we will hear from our outgoing Teacher of the Year, Mrs. Beth Withers from Salem High School. Good evening to Dr. Oates, the Board of Education, and to the Teachers of the Year who are here this evening. It has been an interesting year to be Rockdale School's Teacher of the Year. I've certainly had my technological abilities stretched and expanded. I'm sure I'm not the only one who has had to meet new students only through a computer screen. One of the good things about the past year, however, has been the opportunity to share what it is like to teach students with severe intellectual disabilities. Not many people, even some in education, know what we do from day to day. So I've enjoyed sharing what a pleasure it is to teach these wonderful young people. I truly appreciate being given that opportunity. If I have to choose a message to pass on, it would be this. All students can learn from the gifted students I've taught to the students with extra special gifts that I currently teach. All students are worthy of the very best we can give them every day. That is, after all, why we teach. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Withers, for your comments. We give our heartfelt appreciation to you once again for being among the best of the best. And now we'll turn it over to our superintendent, Dr. Terry Oates. Good evening, and thank you for joining us to honor a select group of world-class teachers. As described in our strategic plan, world-class teachers are critical to fulfilling our core mission of ensuring student success. I will submit to you that each of these teachers has been chosen for this honor because they exemplify what it means to be a world-class teacher. These teachers were called to make a difference in this world by shaping the minds and character of our young people. This calling has certainly become more challenging during this time of an unprecedented global pandemic and change to a virtual learning environment. Yet, these teachers find ways to broaden the horizons for each and every student they encounter. You see, before you can engage the mind, you have to inspire the heart. If truth be told, students really don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. I would be willing to bet that students would tell you these teachers demonstrate not only the highest level of competence in the classroom, they exhibit the humanistic traits of compassion, kindness, understanding, and a genuine love for their students. They are not only world-class teachers, but they are world-class people. 
As superintendent, I am proud to recognize all our honorees tonight who truly deserve our appreciation for their hard work and dedication. They represent many subject areas and grade levels from our young elementary learners to science, social studies, technology, manufacturing, and fine arts, to name just a few. With so many amazing educators in our midst, it is very difficult to narrow the field to one Rockdale County Teacher of the Year. But the Teacher of the Year criteria demands that we find those who stand out the most. I will close by simply saying thank you not only our honorees, but to all of the amazing teachers and staff of Rockdale County Public Schools. Thank you, Dr. Oates. We are just minutes away from announcing our winner, but before we do, I would like to thank all of our community partners who contributed to the gift bags for each honoree, our finalists, and our Teacher of the Year. This year, our honorees are receiving a gift bag from Georgia United Credit Union that includes a plaque from Coca-Cola Bottling Company United, gift items from Georgia United Credit Union, Piedmont Rockta Hospital, Pop and Stop, and Todd Shambo State Farm. Also included in the gift bag, a $10 gift certificate from Cowan Ace Hardware, a $25 Target gift card from Canon Financial Strategists, a $25 gift card from New Vision Financial, a $25 gas card from the Ahmadiyya Islam community, a check for $50 from the Rockdale Georgia Association of Educators, and just in time for the holidays, a $250 gift card from Kroger. Our finalists will receive the same, but theirs will include a fragrance gift from Bell, a $50 gift card from New Vision Financial, and a $50 Target gift card from Canon Financial Strategists. In addition, our Teacher of the Year's gift bag includes a fragrance gift basket from Belk, a gift basket from Little Olive Soaps, a 30-minute massage from Piedmont Rockdale Hospital, a $100 gift card from New Vision Financial, a $100 Target gift card from Canon Financial Strategists, a $250 gas card from Ahmadiyya Islam Community, and a $250 gift card from Kroger. And there's more. I will turn it over to Mrs. Susan Paul Smith with the Rockville County Public Schools Foundation. Good evening. The Rockdale County Public Schools Foundation has supported the teachers of Rockdale County for more than 30 years. Each year, we invite teachers to apply for a grant to fund innovative classroom projects. We also support the Rockdale County Teacher of the Year program by awarding a monetary gift to the two finalists and to the Teacher of the Year. So, on behalf of the Rockdale County Public Schools Foundation, it is my pleasure to present a $100 check to each of the two finalists and a $500 check to the Rockdale County Teacher of the Year. Congratulations to each of you. We are excited to be back live with you for the announcement of this year's District Teacher of the Year. But before I turn it over to Dr. Oates, I also want to welcome our three finalists and our superintendent, Dr. Oates. You just met each of them during our program. I also just want to say thank you and congratulations to all of our honorees tonight and our sponsors for their support of this program. We wish we could be in person with everyone this evening, but we're glad to celebrate you virtually just the same. Without further ado, I will ask Dr. Oates to please do the honors of announcing this year's Teacher of the Year. Good evening, everyone. And I wish to again commend Ms. Withers for serving with distinction during this unprecedented school year. I also wish to echo the congratulatory sentiments expressed by Ms. Ball to our Teachers of the Year and also say thank you to our CPS faculty, staff, and administrators for the great work you do each day. Without further delay, it is now my pleasure to reveal tonight's winner. Drum roll, please. <laughs> and the winner is an RCPS Teacher of the Year. Mr. Jesse Smith. Yeah. <laughs> 
Good evening. <clears throat> I am ecstatic to be named the 2020-2021 R the RCPS Teacher of the Year. I would like to start by thanking my incredible colleagues at Rockdale Career Academy for nominating and voting me RCA Teacher of the Year. I have been blessed to have a supportive administration as well as the unique opportunity to learn from both academic and CTA teachers about what it takes to have a positive impact on students. I would like to extend my gratitude to the Rockdale County Public Schools for paving the path that brought me here. I started my journey as a Hightower Trailblazer, then a Conyers Middle School Bulldog, a Rockdale County High School Bulldog, and a graduate, graduate of the Rockdale Magnet School. The fundamental education that I received right here at home prepared me to flourish as a college student. The relationships that I built along the way gave me an appreciation for education and the influence a teacher can have in their students' lives, both in the classroom and beyond. It was those relationships that brought me back to RCPS to work at the Rockdale Magnet School and now Rockdale Career Academy. Of course, I'm thankful to my wife and our families for their support throughout the years. Lastly, but most certainly not least, I wouldn't be sitting here today without the driving force behind my why as an educator. And that is each and every student that's crossed through my door or these days that is logged into Microsoft Teams. It is my honor and privilege to not only teach them, but help them find their own direction and watch them grow into young professionals. I am humbled to be accepting this honor today and to represent the teachers of Rockdale County Public Schools as their 2020-2021 Teacher of the Year. Thank you. Thank you, Jesse, and congratulations again. We have one more special presentation from County Commissioner Doreen Williams. Good evening. It's so nice to be here again at the Teacher of the Year celebration. I've had the distinct pleasure of being here for a number of years, and I love it every time I come because Teaching was my love, and um, I love hearing about what all these wonderful teachers are doing in their classrooms. This year has been extraordinary with the pandemic and having to teach online and virtually. So I commend every single teacher. But tonight, I especially, I would like to recognize our Teacher of the Year for 2020 for Rockdale County Public Schools and that is Jesse Smith. We appreciate so much his work and his effort at the Rockdale Career Academy and throughout his, his career as an educator. So tonight we have this proclamation to honor Jesse Smith, the Teacher of the Year for Rockdale County Public Schools for 2020. We recognize you, we appreciate your work, and thank you so much. As we close our program, I want to thank our Community Relations Department and our Technology Department for all their hard work to make this celebration happen and certainly one to remember. We thank you for joining us and we wish you a safe and healthy holiday season. We'll leave you with some fun video moments that we had with our honorees during our photo shoot. Thank you and good night, everyone. <laughs>